Thanks to 1.6, we finally have been able to put together the best Noel build of all time. All things have come together, guys. Let's talk about Noel once again. Probably going to be the last video that we do on her for a long time because I finally been able to put all the pieces of the puzzle together thanks to the white blind r5 yes i did use the prototype of choice for my final white blind so now it's r5 12 percent attack and defense for six seconds four stacks but 48 percent attack and defense with 51 percent defense on top of that fantastic stuff you saw the number you can do so much good stuff stacking huge attack with your crit chance and crit damage as well here we are going with the retracing bolide set as always it's my favorite set it gives you nice 40 percent normal in charge attack damage it also gives you 35 percent shield strength which in the team that i'm using her in i'll showcase that one as well is also going to make you exceptionally tanky because you're gonna have her shield and another certain geo character okay maybe he's an archon shield as well now the stats for these artifacts here are as follows this is the stuff that i've poured my heart and soul into since day one yes it took many 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 months of farming to get stuff like this so i am proud of it all right it is good i do love it so this one here the flower three and a half crit rate 21 crit damage 17 defense nine percent attack banger artifact so strong maybe change that attack for some energy recharge but whatever it's fine now the flower here as well 10 crit rate 7.8 crit damage attack and em here this one could be better arguably but uh you know what uh we're gonna use this one all right we're gonna use this one tendon crit rate looks like it's not that big of a deal that's four of the rolls already on the artifact and then the crit damage came in natively at max already so that's pretty powerful there the em and eh, not the craziest thing ever will help out with the crystallization shields but that's not really a huge thing probably the weakest one that is on her now this one here is the defense sands okay 22 and a half crit damage some nice energy recharge we do love to see this one on our account here for this character much love we do need some energy recharge for noel so she can get the elemental burst back up so she can be that specialized character in aoe damage circumstances then the gobble here obviously is going to be geo damage because why wouldn't it be geo we're doing geo damage with our elemental burst active 20.2 crit damage 3.9 crit rate 12.8 percent attack as well and then finally the circlet is going to be an off piece here this one has 31.1 percent main stat crit rate and 26.4 crit damage and 18 percent energy recharge which all in all will bring our stats up to 54 crit rate and 148 crit damage now if i wanted to get in there make it a little bit more spicy and get maybe a little bit more crit rate a little bit more crit damage uh, off like the feather and the sands but i already spent like 70 years of my life farming these ones up so i don't really feel like spending another 70. i mean do you want to be playing genshin impact the domain farm when you're 140 years old so all in all these stats are very nice shield strength here is at 50 percent this is 35 percent from the two piece of the bullite set plus she is in a double geo party actually she's in a triple geo party but she's gonna extra 15 percent from that there as well now the other characters in the party are going to be a zong lee here um he is going to be giving us yes osmanthus wine we heard you zong lee all right yep shut up he's lowering geo resistance he's going to be giving us dominus lapidus shield keep our shields up so we can use that bowl i said even better and then on top of that not only do we already have 50 percent shield strength but he is talent resonant waves also is going to give us stacking five percent extra shield strength up to a 25 percent so that can take us all the way up to 75 percent on its own so he's there to just make us do more damage keep us nice and safe and make us extremely extremely tanky and he's also gonna be wearing the four piece no bless oblige set so when he uses the elemental burst that has a 12 second cooldown we get a little bit of extra attack bonus for a whole party there for that 12 seconds so if you can keep his elemental burst charged and active you use it on cooldown you're gonna have this up 100% of the time so that's very nice there we also are going to be using albedo as another character here as the off screen dps character he is in an e build using harbinger of dawn you'll love to see this weapon three star free to play by the way best e build weapon for him if you're just trying to max the e damage that's what you're doing there his artifact selection is going to be the tenacity of the milliset set which is going to be here for the four piece the two piece doesn't do anything for him uh it doesn't scale off of hp none of his kit does he's defense or attack right but the four piece here is going to give us a permanent 20 percent attack and 30 percent shield strength so we already could reach 75 percent. we can go up to 105 percent shield strength 
which means we double the strength of Zhongli's giant shields, the effectiveness right there. And then because they're geo shields, they get another 50% effectiveness on top of that. So very, very, very strong shields. You can stand pretty much anything in this team. And if you do end up taking damage, Noel will heal you back up. If that shield from Zhongli breaks, no worries. You got a second shield here. If both these shields break, don't worry, bro, you're covered. Why? Because you can get another shield right here from Devotion. If someone actually falls below 30% HP, somehow you get a free shield equal to 400% of her defense. So everything is uh, nice and clean and simple and fine and all that good stuff there. Now for the final member today, we are gonna be using the boy Bennett here. He's here for that element of burst. He's here to give us extra attack, get hit in the head by rocks, kind of what he deserves. And then his artifact selection, you can put him in whatever you want. Most typically, if you're running a support Bennett, he's gonna be in four piece noblesse oblige as well. He's also running the fester and desire. So four star character was in the star glitter exchange shop months and months and months ago. Uh, he's gonna be on a banner soon in the future. If you haven't gotten your first copy yet, maybe try to snipe him as a four star on the Kazaha banner. Okay, so very strong character there. And we're here for Fantastic Voyage, getting 95% up to 100% or more if you level his elemental burst up even higher of his base attack, which is going to be, as you can see, uh, you know, whopping 657. So 657 uh, base attack going to be added to our team there during his elemental burst, which is going to be amazing. That's how you hit those super high numbers. You have the attack steroid from Noel's elemental burst, the attack steroid from none other than the Noblish Oblige. You have the attack steroid from the Tenacity of the Mill set set, and then you have another attack steroid from your big boy Benny out here with his adventure time. I know, Bennett, you want to go, dude. Bennett, chill out, okay? We're recording right now. Another character I do like to run time to time, maybe we'll run it in this video. I've done it in other ones before, is Jean, only because I randomly have her at Constellation 3, apparently. I thought it was Constellation 2 uh, for the attack and speed and movement speed of 15%, so you can do Dragon Strikes. Yes, they still exist in the game. And Noel Dragon Strike is actually pretty dang powerful and very fun to do. So maybe we'll do some of that. And uh, as we showcase, it's just a little bit of what we can do here with all of this love that we've put into our girl, none other than Noelle, the best maid of all time. Obviously she's C6, of course she's C6. Uh, you know, she's my favorite character and like the whole game, take that bow, yep. So, I mean, we're gonna do some of the random floors of the abyss. We're gonna do some bosses and stuff. So you guys can get a feel of how she is. Maybe we'll do some domains. Remember snapshotting still exists. So make sure you go ahead we have all that good stuff. I'm gonna drop this. We have our stacks up. We're gonna drop this. We're gonna quickly make sure this is up again, ready to rock and roll. Stand in the Benny alt, just uh, cleave. Hit that guy from behind me. My arc is huge. My arc is wide. Very wide arc. Very wide. Is my shield break yet? Oh, there it goes. Yep, sorry, bro. You're missing out. All right, drop this. Drop this. Swap back in. Get this shield back up. Do a little Benny slap. Benny slap Arena. Is the other guy dead? I think he died. Okay, whatever. It'll just kill him. And remember, these guys have huge, huge geo resistance. Massive. And we're still hitting for the like 30k a swing. Unstoppable. Oh, I do. And honestly, let's have a real heart to heart right now. How do you die with this team? You have to try to find a way, like fall from the tallest mountain in the game. I think that might be the only way you can die with this team in Genshin. Now, those are some of the enemies that are very, very bad for the fight. High geo res, big single target enemies. That's not what we're looking for. for her. What we really are trying to look for here is some very nice uh, AOE, like these guys. We don't even need Ben Alt. We're just going to swipe them out. Then the pillar should be blocking those other archer guys maybe a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I will say uh, this is my... Yep, thanks for coming over here. My least favorite of the... Uh, of the different kinds of, of of fights up in here the lovely the lovely defend the fort defend it defend the fort i hate it we still have our uh our elemental burst rocking and rolling oh let's recharge it will you at least shoot at me mr guy i'm literally right here i'm literally i'm literally murdering you right now hey i'm literally kicking your ass okay thank you what the mahoyo please wow nothing about 50 50 crits I, I do have 54% crit rate. I'm just saying. That was a little wild. All right, you know what? You get this. I mean, does anyone else have those problems on those certain floors or is it just me? All right, we're gonna slog back through this one again. Um, Real quick, I wanna try out Jean, see if I have the Dragon Strike power still in me, you know? Little rust. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, I love it. You have to love it. You have to love it. 
Ooh, free dragon strike. Be a lot cooler for Oh, we can't do it anymore. We got cryo down, dude. All right, taking the fun away. I got it. Do you want me to take your fun away, bro? Bro, I was just trying to dragon strike. I'm just trying to dragon strike. I was just trying to dragon strike. I was just trying to. I'm still a huge advocate for just making dragon strike like an actual mechanic in the game that you can do. All right, let's see um, if we can get scatterbrain boys over here to do anything. We're going to have to charge us up. Hi. All right. Yeah, okay. Dude, come at me again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh huh. No, not happening, bro. I'm just going to. Bro, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this number. I'm just doing this number. I'm just doing this number. That tingle? That's me. Tingling your face, bro. I think there's a mechanic on this floor where you're supposed to hit it with pyro so they're not super tanky. I don't care. I don't care. That's why we're doing like piddly damage. But you can just brute force your way through it. Just brute force. They can't hit you. They can't hit you? Alright, dude. Who cares? Hold on, let me get 17 shields on. Oh, you? Yeah, you done. No, you gone. No, 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 no. You ain't going anywhere. Yeah, and I'm permanently crowded, so I can't dragon strike on this floor. But you could just brute force your way through everything. Except frozen. Okay? Except for frozen. You can brute force your way through everything. Let's, uh... Hey, how am I getting frozen in the first... What is water? Oh, you summon little water bugs. Well, you're not summoning anything anymore, dude. You're dead. All right. Bro, go back to planting crops, man. No one likes you. Oh, wow. Root. Root. Absolutely destroyed. Dude, I love Geo so much. The 1.3 Geo buffs, man. I'm just telling you. They still matter. They still matter in 1.6. They are still here. And I could do that, but uh, he died to... What did he die to? He didn't die to anything. He just, like, kind of died. And what kind of a Genshin Impact video would it be if someone didn't bully child? You know? That's just... That's just what it is. I'm just going to beat you with my normal attacks. I'm going to bunny hop on you. Bunny hop. Or not. Bunny hop? No? Give me, give me that bunny hop. I'm too I'm too short. There, oh, there it is. I love this character. She's my favorite. No use to, no use to running, bro. Bro, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna beat you with white attacks, my friend. I'm, dude. I'm, yeah, I'm saving it for the final form, brother. Where are you going, dog? Get flowered. Cutscene. Cutscene time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, he transformed. He's like a, he's like a robot. What a, what a good guy. Wow, dude. Thanks, Mahoyo. Amazing. This guy's about to get absolutely deleted. I'm just, I just want to point that out. Why would you do such a thing? I'll stand. I'll hit you from here. I don't care. Bro, where you at? Bro, where are you at? Bro, where are you at? Where are you at? Dude, okay, no, okay, I'm not going to crit anymore. 34k, though, on an auto attack? I mean, you've seen that versus all the hilly trills and stuff. But... No, I don't know if that's how that sword... Oh, it actually wore off at the exact perfect time. Interesting. Noelle still gets dookied on today. I know there's a lot of Noelle fans out there. She is a jack of all trades. Does she master them all? Is she ever gonna be the number one DPS character? No, is she gonna be the number one healer? No, is she gonna be the number one shielder? No, but she does do all of these things. She does them all very, very, very well. And she does do things specifically very good, especially like damage and single target, bad. Damage and AOE, fantastic, right? So she's got a lot of cool caveats going about her. If you have her, right, you have one sitting around at C6 for some reason, you have some troubles in the abyss, definitely go ahead and take a shot at leveling her up. She is so fun. She is very demanding in her artifacts and stats though. So if you guys wanna see more stuff, Genshin Impact content related or more, go ahead and hit that sub button, subscribe to it, make sure it's, you know, polished and clean, just like Noah would want it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.